Welcome to Bit Science. We will be covering essential topic like lightning combo boxes, icon buttons, and JavaScript template literals. By the end, you will be equipped with the skills to build dynamic application on Salesforce Lightning platform. Whether you are an experienced developer seeking to broaden your skills or a newcomer eager to delve into Salesforce development, you are in the right spot. Without further delay, let's dive in. Namaste. Oh. Welcome to Bit Science. Unlock the secrets of life and technology with our comprehensive biology and computer science education. So let's go to the using base lightning component. So we tried few base component: card, button, right, tab set, tab. These are out of the box component. we also have components like a combo box so we are going to try combo box now in one of our exercise so what do you think uh, why combo box uh, or if you have to compare it with any data type which one you will choose to compare the combo box with pick list pick list yeah so it's very similar like a pick list here so this is what we are going to see so in the combo box you have labels that appears when you click on the combo box to choose a value from when you click on any of the combo box there is a value of that option that will go so every single option that you have in the combo box it comes in two section one is the label that you see on screen and when you click on this option the value will be going okay so what is combo box combo box is a collection of multiple option which will allow you to choose one from the available options so here we have options okay name and label they both are important label is what you're going to see here name when you click on it how you going to know this element in your javascript that's a name so name and label both uh, relevant here which value you will click so let's say if i click on canada that will become the value that is the selected item basically which item you have selected from the available list that's your value place holder is this content before you do selection the place holder will be the one oh, visible to you and you can pass any collection of option to iterate and display them in your choices we also have on change on change when you choose any option from the available list will is going to be on change and you can uh, you know call event handler to handle that action event okay so here we are building my option property as options we have a label and we have value so we already know the difference between these two when you click on any of the option you are going to call handle change you are passing event so event dot target dot value so what do you think what will return if you call event dot target so what is the value for the event dot target on which what it will return you if you just query event dot target if you click options. on option sorry you will give options right so this is your combo box all right you click on the combo box and you click on this option there are other options too so when you click on the option you'll go here and will ask you event dot target so what will be the event dot target what is the value of the event dot target Will and uh, value like value. It will give you okay. So event dot target will tell you where the event happened, the target element on which event happened. So what is the target element here? Lightning combo box. Combo box. So this is going to return you combo box. Then from combo box you will get a value. So then you will get the value on which you clicked. target will give you where the event happened make sense so event dot target will always give you the 
target where it happens and then you can call from that target you can call any property label i can choose value i can find options i can find all right this is going to give you any attribute of the tag where event happened and why why are you using get like can you use set also here you are not setting uh, the option in the system okay why i'm using get because this will be called here in this tag so when you say option as option you will be getting option no you will not be okay. setting option from here that's why we are writing get we are not planning to set it better see a uh, lightning yeah. combo box will yeah. let you have uh, options you have to pass right so this options is going to be in your json so it can be collection of json or just one json okay so if you are saying can i go and use uh, the architecture of the select tag remember that we have a select tag so can we use that so ideally you know you need to see that such options are not available here we don't have those uh, you know options available in the lightning tag so lightning combo box here it is go to specification you will see all attributes available here so label name options read only required method right we don't have a mean to use uh, like an you know, option tag like how your html gives you option tag inside the lightning combo box this is the only way to set you know your options in the json and because it's an option as i said option will have two element only one is your label other one is your value label that appears on the option box and value when you click on it if you want to send something else as a value you can do that but you will not have uh, you know uh, any there is no tag coming from lwc okay so if you're going to use option tag here of an html it will allow you to do that it will not stop you but the only thing is you have to take care then lot of other stuff it is not going to uh, then uh, on whichever option you will click that becomes an individual target the combo box will not be a target you have to find which value is selected with the help of the event handling so it's it's going to be a lot of work on your side as a developer to handle click on any option and manage it make sense that's why we are not using uh, option tag here inside the combo box we are using combo box straight with javascript options populated this way whichever value you will click combo box will be able to return that to you so you need not to complex the code okay what i am trying to say here if you will use let's say a combo box so inside a combo box you can write html tag option tag okay you can write option label and then option value here between the option opening and closing but that's an html tag that's not a lightning combo box tag so you have to handle the event here on click on select and all the, all of that so every option need to be handled it separately so too much of work okay with this op combo box in action you need not to do that just pass an option everything will be handled by single combo box tag not the child options tag make sense so if you are passing option if you are doubt can i pass more than two things not necessary your combo boxes the option will have two major element you your what value will display on a ui and what value will be sending to the code back end if you click on any one choice so you can pass label and value of course if you need more insight on a different kind look into the documentation there is a value there is a label there is a description we are not showing description anywhere but we'll be using value and label only okay like this this is my options populated all right which value you click that you can retrieve with the help of selected value property is this all are coming out of the box hmm. now 
that's my combo box. That's why we have a get option because we are going to call this getter method in the options. Can I do it without our getter? Can I just set the property here as a normal property? Yeah, you can do that too. That's also fine. You need not to write getter only as a function. You can write as a variable and you can use that as a variable. That's also doable and possible. The events allowed or handled in the combo box, they are on focus, on blur, on change. Okay. And we know what event.target will return you, where the event happened. Event.detail, because you clicked on any of the combo box, event.detail.value will give you the detail. So do not worry at this moment about the detail. We'll talk about it later. So right now, event.target.value is fine. We have already worked with the buttons, right? Now we are going to work with the icon button. If you remember, I showed you icon button yesterday. You provide the icon name, the style of the button, and the label on the button. If you click on a button, you can perform any action on click. These are different brands available, this different variants available. So you can use it as a base, neutral, brand, destructive for a red color, green color for success, different kind of buttons you can build. You just mentioned the variant, the color theme will happen automatically. You can also build grid system. You know, sometimes I want to show my component in right grid style. You know, right correctly spaced, upright columnar view. So you can use lightning grid system there. The grid system helps you to divide your whole screen in a 12 columnar width, equal 12 columns. That will give you advantage of, uh, uh, you know, making your layout, lightning layout, as responsive. So you can decide that if I am going to see this uh, component from a small screen, I want to use four column to display that. And if I'm going to see it from a larger screen, I will see use only two column. Let's see this output here. So I have divided my whole screen in a 12 column view. My first layout item, that is your first column, says I'm going to take 12 column. So complete row is utilized for just one item that's a header for the second item we said we are going to use three column so we left with nine and we leave it like that all right the next item i say six so we had nine can i use six here yes you still have three more so i'm using the third item as aside and i'm only using three column so this makes three plus six plus three twelve your second column is second row is complete the next item that you will be adding the next column you will be adding it will automatically go to the new row so it's kind of you know important that you take care of this so the way we have three size three six three twelve you can also choose small device size medium device size large device size to tell them which type of device uh, on which device type we are going to use which columnar. So six columnar for small device size for medium device like your iPad, tablet will use four. All right. So that's how we are going to work with the responsive column sizing using lightning layout tag. All right. So JavaScript template literals. Literals we already know, right? Uh, literals means my account ID is 0012345. So 0012345 is the ID that is retrieved from the code. My account ID is a literal, string literal. So if you need to print such literal in the template, we are going to configure that literal in the JavaScript using the back tick. This back tick is just above the tab key in your 
keyboard. That's your backtick. So we'll use backtick to combine the value and string literal. This is my value at runtime I'll fetch. This is the value I'll fetch runtime. This is the value I'll fetch runtime. And then I'm going to add students at the end. As we wrap up, we hope this guide has equipped you with valuable skills for sales for development. Keep exploring and experimenting. And remember to leverage the community for support. Stay tuned for more tutorials. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe for future updates. Thanks for watching and happy coding.